So till now we have seen different type of integration to pass my data from one or to another hall. So if you remember in all my previous session, if I have two hall, one may be Salesforce and another hall may be Salesforce or any other hall. And if I want to pass data, then I was writing some piece of code. Maybe I use SOAP API or I use REST and then I pass my data from one org to another org. Now we'll see how I can uh, share, share the data from one Salesforce uh, org to another Salesforce org without writing a single line of code. So we have some kind of feature which we call Salesforce to Salesforce and using Salesforce to Salesforce, how I can share my data. So this Salesforce to Salesforce is a feature which allows us to share data with another Salesforce.com organization. We can create connection between two org, like if this both are the Salesforce org. And what we can do, we can establish the connection between these two org and we can, we can define uh, between between the orgs who are going to publish and who are going to subscribe the data that's nothing but the object and its field so it's nothing but virtually the data will exist in both the orgs so let's see in salesforce i have a lead record and the same lead i want to pass to another salesforce org so instead of directly storing here what i can do virtually i can access this data so we can publish this data to another org. So we'll see how we are going to do it. So now let's see why do we need this Salesforce to Salesforce connect. Okay. So now what happened? Uh, just think multiple multiple uh, scenario. You have one one partner. Okay. You are using the Salesforce and there is another partner with whom you are working for the lead generation. Okay. They are also using Salesforce. Okay, now what happened? So when the lead record being created on this org, so now you may see, okay, this uh, data you want to bring to your org. Okay, so what do we do here? Multiple things. You can develop uh, some kind of API call between these two org and you can uh, do the integration between these two org and can get the data. Or you can get the data in your uh, CSV file and that CSV file you can use as a data loader and you can load data on this org. In the both the approach when you are loading the data, what is going to happen? The data you are storing in this org completely. You are, you are giving the storage space or you can utilizing some storage here to store the data. Okay. And, and again, if there is some kind of uh, update happen on the data which shared with you on the, this, on the source org, then that updated data to be reflected to need to be reflected again so again you need to update with data loader or you may need to uh, make the api calls to get updated data so what Salesforce says here it they have a specific feature in that feature what they can do which is allows you to share data with another salesforce.com organization simply with using salesforce to salesforce connect you no need to write any kind of api call you no need to use data loader activities simply you can define the connection between two org and you can use the sharing of data among themselves okay so now whenever i want to use salesforce to salesforce connect so basically we will follow few steps as all in my sessions i told always what are the steps i need to follow when i want to integrate same way when you want to integrate to a system using Salesforce to Salesforce. So what we do here? Simply we can define these steps. So we'll enable this Salesforce to Salesforce setting in both the orgs, like who want to publish and who want to subscribe. Same way we have to set up the connection between this Salesforce to Salesforce org. Then we'll define what are the object and fields we want to publish. Okay, then the destination org and the source or what they have, we can define who is going to subscribe which object. And when I'm subscribing, so the data I'm going to put in which object in my system. So all these four steps we'll see, and we'll see how I'm going to set up my Salesforce to Salesforce connect to integrate between two Salesforce org 
without writing a single line code. Thank you. Stay tuned for next session.